Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm so glad you joined me today. Um, and as you can tell, we are making a couple of, of the zipper bedding and there's different brands out there, but I wanted to see if I could make them um, on a budget. So the sizes that I'm going to be making is um, for a kid's bed, which is a toddler bed and then a crib bed, which as you know, they're the same size. Um, so I'll be making the identical ones and a lot of these zipper beddings they're hard to find in the smaller size like this and the ones that they have they don't really have much color options and they didn't really have any that I liked so I decided why not just go ahead and see if I can make my own and that way I can pick whatever colors I want and um, make them to my liking so if this is something that you're interested in keep watching So first of all, I went on the hunt to find um, some fabric that I liked, but then in the end, I decided to just go ahead and buy a comfort that was already made, and I did some measuring and some math, and I figured out that a king size um, would be enough fabric to make two of these zipper beddings. So I went ahead and found one that I liked that would go with our bedroom, and this one was actually fairly inexpensive, so that was a plus. And uh, another thing, I didn't want to spend a lot on the comfort, you know, in case it didn't turn out or something. So I was happy to find this one and it went well with the colors in their bedroom as well. So now you don't have to buy a ready-made comfort. Um, I just did it this way because the batting and the bottom part and everything was all together already. But you could definitely go out and buy fabric that you like for your top piece and then um, buy the batting for the inside and then the bottom piece. Um, it's totally whatever you want to do, but this is just what was uh, worked best for me. So now to start off with, we're just going to go ahead and measure out the top comfort of the bed. And I decided to go down into the aqua part a little bit um, just to add another color into it. And I'll have all the measurements here on the screen so um, you know how big I cut it and this was again for like the crib size mattress so I'm just going to go ahead and measure everything and cut out the two top comfort pieces and again like I said I was making two identical ones so if you're making only one you'll need half of the pieces that I have if that makes sense and then we're just going to go ahead and cut out um, the width of the bed and get that cut out and I was trying to do it just as straight as I can get everything straight And this did take a little bit of time because I wanted to make sure I got all the measurements right and I wanted everything straight. Um, so yeah, just take your time, make, it, make sure everything is right. So now here are all the pieces that I have and these pieces will make two crib zipper comforts again. Um, so these are all the pieces that you will need. And I did go ahead and serge all the edges just to get them finished because it was really um, raveling there on the end. And this just finishes the edges. So over here we have our minky or like your soft inside of the blanket. And this will be um, underneath the comfort. And I got this really soft one here. And then next is the comfort top. And of course I cut two of these and then here is like for the foot and the head side um, that'll be like covering the mattress part um, and so there's two of the aqua pieces and these will be like at the head of the bed just to match up with the aqua that's on the comfort top and then the gray pieces will go down at the foot of the bed and those will match um, the foot of the comfort top as well. So then next over here we have four of these gray pieces and these will be the two side pieces again covering the mattress part um, and then they'll be tucked underneath the mattress. 
So I did have to cut these two different ways. Um, as you can see, the chevron is like two different directions, but I figured one end will be against the wall anyways, and you won't be able to see it, so it wasn't a big deal to me. So now that I got everything cut, um, at least the main parts anyway, now we can move forward. Um, there's still a couple more pieces that I needed to cut, but I needed to run into town first to get them. So this was the other piece that I was talking about, and I did go ahead, this is the sheet of the bed, and I did go ahead and buy a better quality fabric for this, just because this will probably get used um, the most and get the most wear. So I did want a better piece of fabric for that. And then also I just cut a bunch of strips, and this will be like the edging um, around the top perimeter of the bed just to hide the zipper and just to give it a finished look. All right, and here is the zipper that I got. Now you'll need two zippers per bed, um, one for each side, and then they'll open down at the foot part of the bed. So you'll just need to figure out the length that you'll need, and then you want them to open up at the bottom. So we are going to get started here. And I'm just going to lay out all my side pieces and um, just lay them out in the order that they'll be that I'm going to go ahead and pin them together and get them sewn up. So you'll want your head piece to connect, of course, to both your side pieces, and then you'll want your foot piece um, down on the bottom. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pin them all together, right sides together, of course, and just pin all four corners, and then we're gonna go to the sewing machine and get them sewed up. All right, and then once it's all pinned up, this is how it should look. Everything should be right sides together. Then once I have all the corners sewn, I'm going to go ahead and just iron all the corners, um, those seams that we just made. I'm going to iron them on the back first, and then once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and just iron it on the front, get it nice and smooth. And now we are ready to start with the zipper. I'm going to go ahead and start on the bottom. Um, and then we can always cut it off on the top because it's going to be a little bit too long. So we're going to start at the bottom in the center of the foot end of the bed. And then we're going to just go around all the way up to the top. Now this doesn't go along the top edge of the, um, the top part. It just goes up to um, the top corner you'll see here in a minute.
Okay, and then next we're gonna go ahead and pin on the sheet um, along the zipper as well. And I just did the zipper first just so I could get it tacked down where it needs to be first and then um, put the sheet on next. And as you see there in the corners, I kind of tried to make the corners a little bit round um, by making a triangle shape in the corner. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but this just gives it a little bit of a rounder. It fits the mattress a little bit better, I guess. And then we're just gonna fit in this side piece and just stretch it in and fit it to where it all comes out and is smooth. And I did one side, I sewed that, and then I went ahead and did the other side. I just thought this would make it easier to do one side at a time. All right, and now we are ready to sew on the first side. I did go ahead and use a zipper foot. I don't always do this, um, but I did for this. I thought it might just make it a little bit easier. So we're just gonna go ahead and sew all the way around where that zipper is and just sewing on the sheet. All right, and here it is all done. And as you can see, these corners are slightly rounded just to give it more of the shape of the mattress. And this also makes the zipper work a little bit better if it's a little more rounded. And then I did the other side the exact same way. And so now we're just gonna close up this top side here. And I'm gonna first of all find the center of each of these pieces so that I know where it needs to be sewn. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sew the top piece closed. And then we'll deal with that extra piece of zipper um, a little bit later. That just needs to be tacked on so where it doesn't come out and then you can just cut it off. All right, and there is how the corner looks. The zipper is inside, and then as you can see, you'll be able to just cut it off from the inside and just make sure it's attached um, correctly so it doesn't come apart. And just to add a little bit more security, I'm gonna go around the edge, the perimeter of the whole comfort and just sew it down, um, sew the zipper down along with the seam allowance and this will just keep everything a little bit better in its place. All right, and now we are gonna be working on the top comfort piece that you'll see on the bed. And first of all, I'm gonna take this piece of the um, minky and find the center on both ends
and then I'm going to go ahead and lay it out to where it is flat on the table. And next I'm going to take my top comfort piece and lay that on top um, after I find the center of the top and the bottom. And then I'll just match up those pins on the comfort top with the minky on the bottom. All right, and now we are gonna go ahead and attach these two pieces together. And I'm just gonna do the top and the bottom first, just attaching it along both edges. And then after I had those pinned down, I needed to do the sides. So I believe if I remember right, there was 11 inches um, of the minky that was longer than the comfort top. So I'm just measuring along the side there and just pinning the comfort top where it needs to be and just to keep everything straight and in order. And now we are ready to attach this end piece here. And we're gonna go ahead and just attach this all the way around the three sides, just like we did the zipper. Now for these corners, if I would do it again, I would definitely add an extra pleat here in the corner just so it would lay a little bit better over the zipper. So that's one thing that um, you'll want to do if you're doing this for a bed for yourself. All right, and now that we have all the edging on, it's all pinned on. So now I'm gonna go put the other side of the zipper onto the zipper on the bottom. And I'm doing this to get the corners marked um, where the corners need to be on the top. And this will just help to keep the zipper straight and to make it um, fit right. And I'm also measuring and marking where the top of the zipper needs to be. And then when I go to place it on the comfort piece, I'll know exactly where the corner needs to be and also the top of the zipper. And then I can just fit it in as I need to on the comfort top. So here I am starting, um, I'm just going to measure where the center of the bed is and this is at the foot of the bed and this is where the zipper will meet. Again, there's two zippers um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just do one, sew that on and then do the opposite side. So I found my corner there and now I just need to fit the zipper in um, and just stretch it in so it'll fit in nicely. And now I'm gonna do the same with the top. First pin on the top where the top needs to be, and then the side is pretty self-explanatory. It just needs to be fit in to make it smooth. And the next step is to sew on the zipper, of course. So we're gonna do this side and then we're gonna do the exact opposite thing on the other side.
and here is how the zipper will look and as you can see this gray edging will fit nicely down over the zipper and just hide the zipper. So now the other side is ready to be sewn on as well. So now to finish off the top, um, I'm going to go ahead and just fold in the top comfort piece and then fold in the minky and just give it a nice edge. And then here I'm just pinning those two edges together once I have it all folded in. And then I'm going to go ahead on the top with just a nice straight top stitch to finish it off. Okay, and now for the bottom hem, um, of course we're going to want to put elastic in here. So we're going to make a sleeve just for the elastic to pull through nicely. And I'm making it extra big. I think I did like an inch or so um, all the way around. And you'll want to leave an opening where you started just to um, put the elastic in. And that way you can close it up then later. So I'm doing that all the way around the bottom um, where it'll be tucked underneath the mattress. So now to finish off this zipper here on the top side, um, I'm just cutting it off maybe like a half inch um, under the top. Um, you can kind of see it's a little bit shorter than the comfort. And then I just use an extra piece of this gray fabric to just kind of cover it and just Give it more of a finished look and then I'm going to sew it down once I got it fitted on there and you just want this to be sewn down really tight so that the zipper can't slip out. Um, now these zippers if they come off you can put them back on it's not a big deal but I just didn't want this to come off I just wanted it to have a nice finished look. And then for that other gray piece um, that also needs to just be sewn and I'm going to fold it over twice and then I'm also going to just go over that with a straight stitch and get that neatly sewn. And now with those two pieces sewn and finished off, we're just going to put them together again and then um, go sew along the zipper and just finish off the top piece there. And this will just give it more of a finished look and it'll finish off that zipper. And here is how it looks once it's all done. And I'm going to do the other side. Now this is what I'm going to use for the elastic it's called a bodkin and I'll link it below for you if you need something like this you just put your elastic through the top hole there and I did go ahead and tie mine uh, tie the elastic so that I wouldn't be halfway through it did slip out of that hole um, now one thing I just used elastic that I had on hand and it was more of a softer and thinner elastic I would definitely recommend a thicker elastic something that's not as stretchy and soft um, something that'll stretch the fabric a little bit more than mine did um, now eventually I might go and change out my elastic but so far it really it has stayed on the bed really well so it's fine for now but I would definitely use a stronger type of elastic
So then I just tie the elastic together. All right, and now we are ready to fix the beds. First of all, I'm gonna put their mattress protector on, and then we are gonna put on the bottom piece and just tucking it underneath the mattress just as you, like you would a sheet. And then here is the top piece. Now I'm just putting in the zippers, one on each side, and then these will go up to the top. And then just tucking that minky in underneath so you can zip it all the way up. And there you have it, all done. So now for the pillow, being this was a king size comfort, I did have to um, cut this down a little bit to fit um, a standard size pillow, but with everything done, this is how it looks. And there were two throw pillows that came with the comfort set. So Jameson got this gray one and then Chloe got an aqua one. All right, and now that the beds are all done and they're on the beds, they fit well, and everything turned out okay, which I'm so glad for. Uh, we have really been loving these bedding sets that I made. They're just so easy to get fixed in the mornings. Um, the kids can even do it. Just, just zip them up, put the pillows on, and it's done. And they look neat and finished. So I'm very happy with how they turned out. And I hope you enjoyed the video as well. Until next time, bye.